Hi, this is Chaz Palminteri, and if you're thinking about getting your eyes done, the only person to see is Dr. Rothman of LASIK of Nevada. I flew all the way from New York to be here, and Dr. Rothman did my eyes. And all I could say is, it's a miracle. I could see. You see Dr. Rothman of LASIK of Nevada. Pub Crawl, the best source of Vegasy drinking goodness. I'm Alicia. I'm David, and my hair's now fluffy on the sides. And a little fluffy on the top, too. It's still quite fluffy. I got my, I got my dreads retied. Yes. So now they're, I'm coming out the sides now. <laughs> you got different problems now. I'll have, to, I'll have to explain later. But first, live studio audience! Welcome! Welcome, live chat room! <laughs> My chat room's over there. Oh, uh, before we go into too much detail about anything in particular, I am dry as a bone over here. You better remedy that. Cocktail of the week. <laughs> All right, cocktail of the week this week is the East Wing. What does that mean? I don't Not know. Not the West Wing. Um, I do like wings. Check yes, I forgot. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, you are doing uh, okay, vodka, cherry brandy, and Campari, your favorite. In what sort of? You're going to be uh, get a shake with cracked ice and straight into a chilled cocktail glass. Did I, oh, so it's it's three be, ounces of vodka. Three are you ounces. doubling up? No, that's six ounces of vodka. Yeah, it's mo It's a vodka-based martini. Wow. So that's three. Six ounces. So that's six. Two ounces of cherry brandy. Which usually blows to all the yeah, stuff we that's, buy. That's a pretty small amount. There's though. probably a good cherry brandy, but I don't know what it is. Three, what'd you say? Uh, two. Uh, For two oh, drinks. That's one and a half and a little overage. That's fine. Okay, and then one ounce of Campari. For both? Right. Good. Yes. <laughs> I like Campari, as you all know. Campari! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's not what they... Geek! All right, one ounce of Campari. Youch. It's, it's an like acquired cough, taste. It's like cough syrup. So delish. No, it's not. It's delicious like, like uh, Fix Formula 44 is delicious. All right. <laughs> Shake and strain. Shake and strain. You don't want to get this on yet, because I think Campari stains. I'm, I'm assuming it would. So while you're shaking and pouring, I'm going to give the drunk term. Do that. So this week's drunk term is vodka vision. Which so we're going to probably have here. That's, <laughs> that's why we're doing that. It's probably plenty of vodka. So that's just another version of beer goggles, but it's vodka vision. Right, because I don't really get beer goggles. I you do don't get, get beer goggles? Hey, look at that. That's pretty. Well, and if you, if, you were too, if you were too garnish, it would be a lemon. Right, but we don't garnish. Lemon we garnish twist. at home, but I'm not going to bring lemons and... Cutting utensils and all that business. All right. Okay, let's try this. Uh, right. I'm quite curious to see if that uh, cherry is overpowering or not. Hey, hey! It does have that Campari. That's a winner. That's you. I bet you like that. I do. I do. Mm -mm. I, on the other hand, do not like that very much. <laughs> but anyway, it's so I got good. so I got my hair done, right? Mm -hmm. Like I said, I was gonna. So see what they did is they you got your hair did. They they redreaded all my hair and they dreaded the side because you know I've had a mohawk for 20 years. Uh, the sides of my heads have been shaved, both of my heads. Um, sides <laughs> of my heads have been shaved. So what I did was they dreaded the sides. So now it's all sticking out the sides. Okay. Yeah, you gotta you gotta tame those wild dreads. I know. <laughs> so now I've got a full head of dreads, a full dread of. No, that's right. Full I said head it right. Of dreads, I yeah. got a full head of dreads. Thank you. 
uh, Shagmi Salon. Yes, or, it was actually one of the one of the first places in town, I think, in Vegas to learn how to do dreads. It's funny, a lot of places in LA did it. They didn't know last year. But I couldn't find a place in, in Vegas, so I found Shagmi Salon. Over, Jeremy, Jeremy was quite good. Uh, over by the college, and they did it for me, uh, paid by the hour. But I can still see, I got some work to do. Yeah. Now see, you get off lucky because you cut your own hair. That's right. Not that you're a cosmetologist. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> You're not a cosmetologist, so you 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 just cut you just cut around your eyebrows, which I think looks really good, and they're really nicely arced today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, let's take a quick little break. All right. Come back with our the meat of our show, actually. And the second half of our downtown adventure. First half. Oh, second half. We, yes. <laughs> let's do it. You know, one of the things I like best about the Vegas Video Network are the people. There are no divas here. Everyone is exactly the same off camera as they are on. Hey, Oz, what's uh, Cocktail of the Week this week? You know what? I'll let you know what it is when it's time for you to know what it is. Why don't you get off the stage and get back in your production hall? Oh, my God. You know what? And tell Cheap Ass Whitney to get us some decent brand liquor. This hobo off wrap crap ain't cutting it. God, idiots. Totally. <laughs> it's so. <laughs> Quit messing it's with It's wild. Your... <laughs> it's wild. I got like. Wild hair, like an adventure. Wow, yeah, you look crazy. You're right. Second half of our downtown adventure. Yes. Last week we did the first half of our downtown. This is, but no, no, it's not half, because that implies it's only two halves. It was just <laughs> okay. the first, the second part of our downtown adventure. Because we could explore downtown for years. Right. I don't want to, but we can. Now there's, this, there's plenty more to look at. We still have not done drink and drag, which I really want to. I kind of. Um, but I tell you what we did do. Yes, we are. <laughs> We've been putting this off and putting this off and putting this off, and I thought it was going to suck, and it absolutely was the opposite of suck. We, ladies and gentlemen, went to Heart Attack Grill. It's only put two people in the hospital since they opened about a year ago. And killed their spokesperson. And killed their spokesperson, <laughs> their 35-year-old spokesperson. That's right. Killed their spokesperson, took two people to the hospital. We went in there. Well, let's see. Well, here's what happened. So part of our adventure, we were downtown at Hogs and Heifers, which we reviewed last week. It was so good we went back. They were having a luau. So we went back yes. to the, which was actually our tip last week, wasn't it? It was. It was. So we went to that said luau, which was killer. Free food. Free food. Where does that happen anywhere else? Hardly anywhere. Bunkhouse has free food also. That's true. Um, so out on the street, barbecue. So, we're, we, we, so we ate. So we weren't hungry. This would be the perfect time to check out Heart Attack Grill. So we walk over <laughs> down, up, up, you know, right up the street. It's right there. We go into Heart Attack Grill. Now, I didn't realize that when you walk in, you have to wear the gown. Like I thought, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, no exceptions. So they got a couple hot nurses, and you got they put you got you know it's a, it's a hospital gown, like the open in the back, but you have, you know you have to wear clothes. But <laughs> but I gotta say that was not, that was half the fun. And I was happy that they're all they're all clean. Every time you go in, you get a fresh new one. I thought maybe they would they would reuse them, but they mm. can't. Because they had quite That's a good point. I guess you couldn't. Could well, you? we're talking to the head nurse, and she was. She told okay. us. Yeah, we did hang with the head nurse. Well, we get to that. <laughs> so you go in, you put your arms in, and they tie it in the back. I love it because no matter how cool you are when you went in, everybody looks the same. Everybody looks the same. Everybody's wearing the big white polka dotted or little flowers or whatever they are yeah. hospital gown. That's so fun to me. It's just cool because we're all wearing this big ugly thing. So you don't have to worry about looking like you know, like. Well, this is sure a good drink. And you also don't have to feel bad if you eat, and you have like a little pooch after mm -hmm. you eat because you're covered, and it like. So we did awesome. eat. We went to the bar. It's futile to ask for a rum and diet because they do not have diet cola. Yeah, there's no diet coke. Which I think was cool. I th I immediately, my my apprehension turned to love immediate. As soon as I sat down, I went, you know what? The head nurse who was cause they have all the nurses in the little white nurse. Head outfit. nurse Tracy was the one. We were but she's in like one. a green outfit. Yeah. We talked to her. It was so cool. The shots are 10 bucks. But now before They're you guffaw at the $10 shot, which is, you know, that's the price of a shot in most places, it's four ounces. Four ounces. They serve it in a syringe. And it's, that's freaking huge. That's huge. And it's actually pretty good stuff. It's Jack or, or Jaeger, or they've got that Honey Jack. Yeah, all this stuff. I mean, they don't have any crazy stuff, no diet. Um, we talked a little about food. We didn't get any. 
She, and she was a thin lady. She's like, you know what? I eat here every day. Well, yeah, because we were asking, like, you know, have you tried the food? Is it nasty and fatty and just gross and greasy? And she said, actually, it's a pretty good burger. Yeah, because I eat here every day. You don't, have, you don't have to get the quadruple bypass, which is how much, how many like, calories? 8,000 calories. Yeah, well, it's also got 20 slices of bacon on it. No, you can order that extra for, like, three bucks, four bucks. So it's 20 extra slices. By the way, something completely shocking, it was cheaper than you could possibly imagine. The burgers were, I think, max 11 bucks. And that was for the four patty one. Was like, I think it was 12 yeah, the prices like, are was like $12.95, what I think it was. That's four patties for $13. Are you kidding me? And yeah. with three slices of bacon, that's, fi that's like 15, 16 bucks. That's enough food to feed a family of five. Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> really? And the, and the regular burger is like, you know, six ninety five or whatever. So there it is right there, twelve ninety five for the quadruple bypass. Do you believe it? Yeah, so we ended up getting, see, we can see in the corner, there's 24 count, 24 ounce cans of beer. So what, you got like a Colt 45 or you got some kind of. Oh, no, uh, I got a ham. Oh, yeah, you got a ham. So I got something else. You got I some East remember. Coast thing, like a Bieber. It wasn't a Bieber. It was a beer I never heard of it before. It was a Bieb. You were drinking from the Bieb. <laughs> the Bieb. It wasn't it a Bieb. Was it was awesome. It was though. cool. I will go again. I think if we go again, split a burger, I think it would be cool. The fries are supposed to be really good fries. Um, and the butter shake, I could do without the butter fat Yeah, I mean, yeah, me too. I'm not a big shake guy anyway, though. So that doesn't really, there is vodka in it, though. Oh, yes. So, but it does have, it, but there is like a, a big half a stick of butter in that shake. And I was impressed with just the decor of the place, the artwork. They had all this, this art, like it was the Last Supper. Yeah, with, but it was all with, the, it was with all Dr. The, John and all the, all, all the, yeah, yeah, it was oh, Jack yeah, in the, the Box <laughs> and, and Ronald McDonald. And they, they had, had a the dolly with the, instead of the melt, melting clocks, it was melting burgers. Yeah, I, I gotta say, Absolutely impressed. I'd go back again anytime. I have, I have now, and everybody in there was having a good time. Yeah. And uh, they have the, apparently we did learn if you're 350 pounds, you eat for free, but you only get a single burger. But you can you keep ordering them all day. And, you can only get the single and the burger scale's at a time. right in the middle of the restaurant, and you have to get on it in front of everybody. Yep. And every time, after you eat, you have to get on it again and again and again. It's, it's, it's pretty, right. it's so pretty it, entertaining. But hey, why not? I mean, if you're 350, you want a free meal, you go for it. I would do it. Um, anyway, yeah. we're going back. Go to, go to drink for sure. But if not, you know. Yeah. But let's take a quick break and come back with our second part of this Second part. <laughs> Traditional it. media believes that after about three minutes, you'll tune out. Most Vegas media companies think if it doesn't jiggle, you won't tune in. At the Vegas Video Network, we think both are wrong. The Vegas Video Network is the first and only live online broadcast network that specializes in insider news and expert views about Vegas. We combine great storytelling with the ability to watch when and where you want on your computer, mobile device, or television. Discover the real Las Vegas. Visit VegasVideoNetwork.com. <laughs> that camera too, not that camera too. Ooh. I don't know the numbers. <laughs> well, I've been doing this for two years. Look for the lights. Look for the lights. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you want to get a hold of us, we're Pub Crawl at VegasVideoNetwork.com. Is our email? Pub Crawl at VegasVideoNetwork.com. Comment on my new on my new funny haircut. Um, iTunes. Twitter. <laughs> yes. Twitter's the big one because we're the LV locals. The network is Vegas Video Network, mm -hmm. and we're tweeting crazy. Um, tweeting fools. We uh, we're on iTunes. We're on uh, Roku. That little box that plays high def. You can see us on high def. If you dare. Oh. <laughs> um, and um, uh, YouTube. The whole nine yards. Fourteen hundred KSHP every Saturday yeah. here in Las Vegas. But anyway. Also that listener voicemail. You can. Oh, speaking of that, we're gonna have one there later. I know. I'm so excited. Um, it's our first one. Yep. So. Um, but anyway, so we left the heart attack room, which was kind of painful. And I could go on for hours on how awesome that place was. That's just By the way, That's nurses, like, hot. Oh, all hot. Yep, all the nurses are hot. And if you log on to their website and you have a favorite nurse, I, I just I did this for the show, you can actually check their schedules and see when they're going to be They actually have you know, t-shirts of them, like cartoons. Yeah, of them. and they have, all the cartoons are actually pretty, pretty cute and pretty, pretty spot on. It's a good place. Anyways, so from there, went to one of our oldest and dearest, Places that <laughs> dearest the gold spike downtown. Now this place we used to go a long time ago when it was a crap hole. I mean, it, you got to remember eight years ago. This was literally the funnest, dingiest, most awful 
stinkiest. We learned about it from this smokiest. old website called Cheapo Vegas. Remember that website? I think I it's. Do. I don't know if it's still up or not, but they used sure to do reviews is. of different ones. And they still do because they're still updated. I don't know what, it's just kind of a blog. Yeah, they, they'd go and their whole plan was to bring a bunch of friends out and do the cheapest vacation they could do. And they always stayed there. So we actually, before we lived here, we'd, we read that. We're like, oh, and so we went. And it was a hellhole. They had dollar burgers and dollar beers. And, but it was fun. We loved it. I have an old and, Gold Spike shirt. And so. cockroach was crawling. And it was oh, like, it, it was, was bad. bad. They've remodeled. I think Boyd bought it. I think it's Boyd or it's um, one of them. Um, one of them. Seagull, I think. Se or one of those. What, what, and, um, they kind of fancied it up. Kind of killed a little of its charm. Yeah, but definitely did something that it needed. They brightened it up. They made it more white, very open, airy. Well, they kind of did like a really they low budget, a like, Cosmo. Like, <laughs> like, it, like, yeah, super, like let's super paint everything budget. white and <laughs> put some, like, like, 60 chandeliers around. It's, so it doesn't really... And they've still, got, uh, got more windows. It feels more open. They added a little loungy area right yeah, next to tiny, the bar. But it's, it's I still think tiny. it's awesome. And with the PBRs are still at two bucks. Cheap. For the big, you know, big one. Stop in, grab a beer, and you can even just keep walking. Go check it out. Yeah. Keep walking. It's absolutely still a great place. Now, you know, you have a little, it's pet friendly. Oh, yeah, know. yeah. I've, I've, so if you're ever looking for a pet friendly place, it's uh, $15 per night per pet, two pets total, and they can't weigh more than 25 pounds, which Combined. works for us. No, each. <laughs> Which works for us because that's perfect. Right, um, and the room you can like, get suites there for like forty bucks, like yeah. a suite. Like it's pretty cool. And they have, uh, if you look on the website, they've got working air conditioning with a dial. That says it on the air. On yeah, the, on the website. pretty proud of that. Well, see, <laughs> that's one thing I got to hand them credit. They have a sense of humor about themselves. And it's like, stay mm -hmm. here for forty bucks for a suite. You know. It's, yes, we have television. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you do. AM, FM, radio. You know, cassette. You know, like it's it's the whole. <laughs> it's really funny. But actually, they don't. They're pretty high tech. They've got an iPod dock. Oh, station. there you go. Well, I tell you what. So the, from there, we went. We went from one from a kind of a low end gold, which I love, 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 to Golden Nugget. Now, Golden Nugget, up it's. By far the super nicest place downtown. Easy, easy. I mean, there's not even a, anybody can compete with that downtown. Even nicer than the remodeled yes. plaza? Whatever you were going to say, yes. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. That is by far. Their pool is awesome. Well, that's where we go. I think the, the 99 times out of 100, if we go to the Gold Nugget, we can score at the pool. Yeah. The tank, it's what it's called, is awesome. That's where the big sharks are swimming. And you can We've got a pool bar them. outside. Well, we just go to the bar because you, you can just go out there. Go sit at the bar. You're at a killer pool. Um, it's not like a like a strip pool where like there's the hotties. There's, there's no, not there's lots of it's, families and lots of downtowner types. Yeah, but you know what? Well, not but not like homeless. No, not, no, no. <laughs> it's not great. those types. We actually, we, uh, in fact, I would give that bar for downtown, not including East Fremont or off Fremont, mm -hmm. but on Fremont, that's like a nine. The so, drinks, I think, could be a little cheaper, but they're not, they're not cheap. They're right. pretty pricey. But I mean, you have that pool, get to sit around and watch the fish, and no, it's, it's, it's we have a great time there. Um, gold, they actually they they changed their main lounge in the Golden Nugget too. I don't have any information on it because we didn't go in. We just saw, I saw they changed it. Mm -hmm. We walked out to the tank, sat out there for a great time. They went back over to Hogs and Heifers. But Heart Attack Grill, I give it not kidding a nine point five. Oh, definitely. Not even I, kidding. I want to go back and try the food. I, yeah. I bet you know me and extra greasy things. I'm not a big I'm not a big fan. Well. But I mean, just as far as just a bar, just a fun place thing, I literally, I'm not kidding, 9.5. Gold Spike, and it's solid eight, always. Oh, yeah. It's oh, yeah. Solid eight. Love it for what it is. Love it for what <laughs> it is. It's great. Um, Golden Nuggets, like a, actually, for downtown, it's a nine. A nine? That's the best place downtown. I would say 7.5. Oh, there, well. Well, I don't know. A 7.5 or an eight, maybe. All right. Either way, we had a great time. Drink price, a little, little too high for, for where it is. All right. Well, let's take a quick break. All right. Come back with yeah, last we'll do call. That. <laughs> See you in two. Hello, everybody. This is Sam Seegers, and you're watching the Vegas Video Network. Here we go with more Pub Crawl. And we're, and we're back. <laughs> hey, you know what? <laughs> Time for some bartender. Let's hear from the folks. We're not going to read this one. No, we're, we're just not. We're going to listen. The first call. Hi, Alicia and David. This is Kat in Vancouver. Thanks for answering my question. I will certainly try 
the Vesper bar and the place in the Venetian that you recommended. The best cocktail I've had in Vegas has been a twist, which is also, I guess, the same drinks as at the Mandarin bar, something called the Passion Fruit Sour, which is defined as Stolichnia green chartreuse, passion fruit puree, fresh basil, simple syrup, fresh lime, and a splash of egg whites. Best cocktail I've had, oh, with a great view as well. I look forward to hearing more of your adventures. Bye. You know what? Yum. Chartreuse. When we were doing our bar countdown, we forgot Mandarin Oriental. They had not only the best view, I think, well, mix is pretty Their awesome. cocktails were awesome. And, and just listing, when Cal's listing up those ingredients, uh, chartreuse, and basil, ah. You got a, some kind of a tea cocktail there with tea in it. Yeah. And it was amazing. And they've got the best, second best nuts in Las Vegas. Third best, if you count me. <laughs> but they have a nice nut mix. Their nut mix is unbelievably good. When we said it before, win encore, lobby bar, best nut, free nut things mm -hmm. you can get. Number, but number two, Mandarin Oriental, and their drinks are out of this. Yeah, good world. call. I, I heard. I mean, that place is supposed to close, right? I heard that too, but I don't know. But not to mention the whole vibe of Mandarin Oriental. You go in, and there's, and you're not in the lobby. It's really, really. You're in like nice. nothing. You get in this killer elevator, then you go up to the With lobby. That little velvet bench, and you yeah, up. it's un. That, I forget about it going there because you, you're you, you're able to go. You could even be dressed like us, and you could go I in. I think I was trying to forget about it because it was going away, and I didn't want to be disappointed. I have a YouTube channel of the bathroom on my YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, it's the most soothing bathroom ever. Let's go to YouTube splash. The women's bathroom is the same as men's. Okay, <laughs> I, I forgot that it's on there. My YouTube channel is I stare. I S T A R E. If you go to YouTube channels, I stare. One of my videos is the bathroom of that place that I took. And it was like, you can't believe this bathroom. I mean, there's TVs and it's, it's like Zen music it playing. It's very. Like, oh, there's nowhere finer in Vegas to take a dump than that bathroom. <laughs> Not that I <laughs> lovely, would Lovely, lovely. But anyway, we do have a little bit of a last call. <laughs> this is where you find out sometimes. How to not get kicked out. <laughs> knocked out. Kicked and isn't even still, in it. And you still can't do it. I know. I was trying to do it without looking. It's knocked out, knocked up, thrown out, thrown up, or thrown in jail. Kicked has nothing to do with it's it. A, up. Kick it. No, to kick, kick it. it. Um, anyway, you know what I read today? And we missed it two days ago. I forgot about this happened last summer. The Cosmopolitan, the oh, Waity Twitty yeah. Cosmopolitan, has on Monday nights, if you're in town, at, what time is it? 7 o'clock. Free. Doors open. Movie starts at 8. It's a movie at the pool, on the pool level. They just show a movie on the big screen. I think it's on the side of the building. Yeah, and, I think they, they project it. Yeah, and you go, you go to the pool, and you can either sit in the pool or lounge in chairs. You drink their classic cocktails from the Cosmo. They got oh. all those killer cocktails, killer food, everything. You can either lay in the pool on, on, in uh, your little floaties. Or you can lay and watch a movie. Monday was Casablanca. We missed it, which would have been killer. What's the What's coming up? Oh, uh, nothing. The maybe karate, the June twenty fifth is the Karate Kid. Oh, okay. I see this guy can do a Karate Kid. Oh, Spider Man, come on. Oh, Breakfast at Tiffany's on uh, July 9th. But Rudy, Rudy. Oh God. Rudy. I don't want to see. Rudy, <laughs> Rudy, Rudy. Okay, we have a little thing. I, Rudy. We're going for Rudy. We are going for Rudy. That's one of my favorite movies. Alicia hates that movie. Yeah. I don't know why. It's got Samwise Gamgee in it. I like Samwise Gamgee, Samwise Gamgee. And you actually like him in Goonies, even. I do. Who are we talking about? Sean Astin. Yes. Oh, he's so good in Rudy. <laughs> Rudy's well, maybe playing. I have to give it another chance. Look, it's up there with Wizard of Oz is playing the week after, 16 Candles. You can just go to the Cosmo site and check out their pool. You can see all that stuff. Man. But anyway, <laughs> we're going for Rudy. But hell, a little bit of information. In next week is our last show for three weeks. Yes. We're taking a break. We're not going anywhere, but we're just, we, we might even come back with a new set. You uh, never know. But we're going to come, we're taking a three, break, three week break. We're going to do some more reviews, get some more content, and then come back all new and fancy. Might have my hair be dyed. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? But in the meantime, pub crawl at VegasVideoNetwork.com. Twitter with the LV Locals, the video, the network is Vegas Video Network, iTunes, YouTube, Roku, KSHP 1400 AM every Saturday. Remember, next week, 
then you're going to have to go a couple weeks without us. But remember, we don't make stuff up, but we leave stuff out. Finish that drink. Will! <laughs>